is the one law you definitely don't want to break out on Lake St. Clair this year. With lake levels at or above seawalls, a boat's wake can really send water onto shore, putting homes, even lives at risk. And the St. Clair County Sheriff is cracking down this season in a pretty big way, as you're about to find out. Let's bring in Rod Maloney on this, who's live on, in St. Clair County. And Rod, you got a first-hand look just how serious this can be. Yeah, you know, the water is gorgeous out here, Jason, and, and you can tell that it's pretty high just by looking at the docks behind me here. But the damage this can cause is a problem, and the sheriff's office is out trying to go ahead and make sure that boaters are better this year at mining the no-wake zones. But also, there's a mad scramble out here right now. Water lapping over seawalls. Docks underwater, pumps running full and overtime. And all of a sudden, Rich Hobig of St. Clair Dumpster is in the sandbag making business, who over the past week has sold a few thousand. He's using a homemade sandbag filler that emerged out of necessity. I built that a couple weeks ago because I live on the water and was going to need a lot of sandbags. So did the neighbors, the going sandbag rate. 250 a throw. We're trying to stay reasonable. And you don't have to go very far to find Rich's sandbags ringing Harson's Island homes. Mary Kramer told Why Local 4 Today about the high water and its impact at her house. We have carp swimming in the backyard, ducks, um, frogs got a haven back there, the mosquitoes are going to get worse. We met Mary today as the St. Clair County Sheriff's Office took us for an area tour. Deputies are out patrolling for speeding boats. The DNR has installed no wake zone channel markers with bright orange flags meant for large boats declaring no wake zones to try and protect the shoreline and the homeowners just beyond. Deputy Joan Hettinger tells us where. Well, the North Channel, Middle Channel, South Channel, into Lake St. Clair a little bit around Gull Island. The waves just right over the dock bangs the heck out of our boats and as you know we don't need any more water coming in and so the situation right now is that they're just on the edge of real trouble and they're hoping that the water doesn't keep rising although they say it's been going up a couple of inches per day in the meantime if you're a boater out here and you go through one of those no wake zones too quickly 135 dollar ticket back to you Wow, that's uh, pretty incredible, especially when we consider uh, how much that's really gone up. Is there a rule of thumb, Rod, for boaters who are going through that area to avoid trouble? Yes, anything over 26 feet long has to be 600 feet away from these docks, and they also have to have the no wake. Anything under 26 feet, it's 200 feet away from docks. And if you don't know the local rules, it's a good idea to check into them before you go out. Yeah, exactly. All right, Rod, good tips.